joining us today to make this very colorful necklace featuring Blue Moon beads. These are glass foil lined beads and these are glass window pane beads. We're also using this very pretty flower pendant here as our focal point. Now these beads are available in stores in this strand format. Now a lot of times it's hard to pick out two strands that match each other, but I liked these because of the foil line and the window pane framing that both had a metallic quality to them. And then this flower pendant I've always liked, so I was very happy to find some beads that I could match with it. So now let's get started. What I've started with here is cutting three strands of 24 inch transite cord. Transite is sometimes called monofilament, but it's this clear kind of fishing line. These three strands I've looped across three links of chain. This chain is going to become part of our clasp and I've used a very large crimp bead here in the middle. And I've looped it back through. Now to secure our crimp bead, we're going to slide it snug up to the first link of chain. We're going to use our crimping pliers. We're going to turn them first to do the crimp and then we're going to turn the pliers around and fold that crimp over and secure everything in place. Now to make sure that it's purely secured, we're going to give it a good little tug. Now we can begin stringing. I'm using bead cones here to get started and I'm sliding them through the narrow end and passing all three strands of the monofilament and taking them all the way down. Now I need to get these three tails also through and very carefully slide it all in. And now we can begin stringing on our beads. I'm starting with our window pane glass beads and I just want to string each strand separately and each strand is going to get 14 of these beads. So we'll just finish stringing these on. And this is what it looks like when I've strung all three of the transite strands with the 14 window pane beads. And you'll see here this bead cone creates a very nice finished look to the end of it. Now to create the center focal point I've finished those three strands off with another bead cone followed by the flower pendant and then another bead cone. And now I'm going to begin stringing all three strands together through the foil lined blue beads. Now we take one of the small size and we pass all three strands through it. These ones have nice large holes drilled through them. And then we pass another one of the large glass beads. We continue stringing until we get the entire length finished. Once we've finished adding the blue foil lined beads, we're going to pass all three strands through the inside of a bead cone then a large crimp bead. I'm going to pass them through a link of chain. I have three links here. Then back around, loop it back through the crimp bead and then back through the bead cone again. Once we've done that, we can tighten everything up to get everything snug. And again, we're going to use our crimping pliers to first crimp the crimp bead, turn the pliers and fold it over. And that'll give us a nice neat finish. Now these three strands should pass back through or you can clip them clean since they'll be hidden in the bead cone right there. Now we're ready to add our clasp. Now to finish our necklace we're going to add our toggle clasp and to do so we're going to take one of the last links of chain, use our pliers to open it up just like we would a jump ring, slide on the end of the toggle clasp and then close up that link and repeat the same technique for the other side. Open it up, add the toggle through the loop that's hiding on the back, and then finish by closing up that link. And that's all it takes to make this beautiful necklace using blue metallic beads from Blue Moon Beads. <laughs>